I'm Nick, I am the chair and CEO of the AKU Society, which is a patient group that works around the world for patients with alcaptonuria. Both my children have got alcaptonuria and I've been working on this for the past 15 years, but it's particularly sped up in the past six years since we got funding from the European Commission to set up an international clinical trial program to try to develop a drug called nitizinone, and that has been very successful so far. Alcaptonuria is a rare disease where there's a lack of an enzyme called homogentasic acid dioxygenase. The lack of this enzyme means they can't break down tyrosine fully. If they can't break it down, it then accumulates in the body, causing change in color, including the urine, including the joints. It also leads to premature arthritis, mainly affecting the spine and the large joints. Also, they also have aortic valve disease and lots of health conditions, so it's a devastating disease for patients from the age of 25 onwards, even though they're born with the condition. Ça fait cinq ans que je participe à l'étude. Il me reste encore une année à venir, en espérant que le médicament soit mis sur le marché afin de soulager tous les patients qui sont atteints de l'alcaptonurie et, et de diminuer les souffrances et qu'ils aient un une meilleure qualité de vie. Nearly all of the clinical problems in alcaptonuria, the pain and the disability, are caused by a pigment that's laid down in tissues, and we call that ochronosis. Now in mice with alcaptonuria, we've shown that this drug, nitisinone, completely stops the production of the pigment and prevents the joint disease. So now we've got to try and prove in human patients with alcaptonuria whether it has the same effect. And so, we take biopsies, this one is from the ear of a patient, and we analyze the amount of pigment by observing it under the microscope, taking photomicrographs, and then analyzing how much pigment is in the tissue. And we can do this before and after treatment with the drug, and we can see if the drug is effective. The Darapacure program is expected to tell us whether we have a new therapy for alcaptonuria. We are excited that whatever we've learned in this project will help us to advance knowledge in metabolic disease and it will give all the partners uh, more information, more knowledge and opportunity to develop other treatments going forward.